Hello everyone. Today I'll be showing you the listings on how to create listings within the series version 4. Okay, we're going to select on this icon list and then we will select one of these. There's uh, quite a lot to choose from that you can make. You can make all our systems, ancient western, new birth, Hellenistic, Angular distance, Arabic parts, degree meanings, textures, Jones chart, harmonic listings, harmonic patterns, integrated listings, music of the spheres, parents, planets or asteroids, position list, declination and, lat and latitude graphic display, and relocated and ascendant, and as mid, mid heaven aspect listing. Let's start with all house system. This is quick and easy. You click in here, and there you go. You have the listings of all the house systems in here. Okay. Now the next one is you click on listing. You click on ancient Western Uber system. Here you have an option to select either the Reformation Dispositors, Planetary Hours, Essential Dignities listings, or the Uber Planetary Strength. Let's select the first one first so that it's not confusing. Although you can select both. Let's just click on OK. And there you go. In this listing, you will see Refrenation, Lunar Mansions, Dignities, Al Mutants, High Leg, Al Cocodon, Al Mudevit, Temperament, and Dispositors. This is all for this natal chart. OK, you can scroll down to see the whole thing. There you go. There you go, there you go. You can print this or save to file. The best way is to print it in PDF format. It's really cool. Let's click on print. Uh, you can say print, view, change settings first. My computer is already, already set up to use the Microsoft print for PDF. So we click on print and then it will ask you where to save it. We're gonna save it in drive D to test this one. So um, this is our, I will call it Refrenation, for example. Any name that you can easily remember. And then you click on, and you press the Enter key, and then we'll save it for you. I uh, will show you here in uh, uh, Drive D, and go to, um, it will go to the Drive D where I save the file, and it will be there. It will not show it on this video, but you go to the drive where you save the file and it will give you the PDF version of it. It's really, really cool. You can um, you can notate on it or send it to your clients or to your friends to share. Okay, now let's click on listing and then we go to, uh, oh, we do not have to click on listing again. Just to select the second listing on this version, we just right click on this ancient Western and Uber system. And then we, we can uncheck this and we select the Uber and planetary strength. And then we click on okay, there you go. It's very, very easy. Again, it is listed here on the right side in the reports selected for this chart. Look at this, the all house system is there. The uh, um, the wheel is there as well. So in order to see this, um, you can um, print this as well. You do not have to scroll because it's all in this one page. Now let's go to the next one. Click on listing. We click on Hellenistic this time. There's two kinds, Hellenistic natal and Hellenistic time lords. Let's select the Hellenistic natal first. Click in here. And then there are several options in here. We'll just select the default, although you can select this if you want. And you can also change the setting for Hellenistic settings. You click in here and you will see all these settings in here. Um, you can select the Hellenistic LUTs. You can select other LUTs. You can uh, select the orb calculation for the fixed stars. Uh, you can click in here to determine the orb if you want and select the fixed stars. But let's just do the default, and we click on OK, and then we click on OK again, and there you go. 
that is your Hellenistic information for this natal chart. Now let's go to the other Hellenistic version of it, which is the Hellenistic Time Lords. You click on here, and then you click on OK. Again, you have options in here. You can select Sudiacal Releasing for the Lord System, Decennials, and all these things, 129 year system, Fabulous method, circumambulations, annual perfection, lunar um, monomania, and all that good stuff. So the default is the zodiacal releasing. And the rest are self-explanatory. And we click on OK. And there you go. This point, you have to scroll. You can also make this screen a little smaller so, so that it's easier to read. And as you can see, I click on this. Uh, magnifying glass the minus and plus plus makes it bigger the minus makes it smaller okay you can scroll down and see your listing or print it in pdf format if you want okay now we go to the next listing we go to angular distance between planets and there you go it's very very easy now we go to the next one um we go to the arabic parts and you have several choices in here. Uh, you can select sort by zodiac position, by name of Arabic parts, or by planets in Arabic parts formula, by zodiac position, by uh, sort by name of Arabic parts again. Uh, just, just, and then you can change the settings if you want, but let's just select the sort by zodiac position. And there you go. It's very, very easy. Um, it will just produce it for you automatically. Now, let's um, go to this setting and see what it is in there. This is the settings of all these three things up here. Let's click on here to see the settings. You can select all of these things. You can select Arabic parts and listing, ascendant plus inner planets. So these are all the options that you can choose. You're not stuck to one. You have a lot of choices. So let's just click on OK in here. The other one is uh, the same. And then um, and whatever you change, it will um, populate it for you. All right, the next one, let's go to um, the uh, degree meanings, Sabian and basic listings. Let's click in here. And there you go. You have several options in here. The basic listing, grant trines, Planet conjunction is all that stuff. Let's click on the degree meanings by Roger and Jones. Oh, the best one is actually is selecting this degree meanings according to 11 authors. Okay, you're not stuck to just Roger and Jones, but there's other authors as well. You click on OK, and it will calculate it for you. And here you go. You have to scroll down to see the uh, different authors analysis of each of these uh, degree meanings. It's really, really cool. Uh, Michael Mancasey actually did the research on this part and uh, he, he came up with an excellent analysis of it, who is the best author among these 11 people. Okay, the next one is listing. And then we go to, oh, actually we can right click in here and we can go back to that listing. You do not have to click on listing again. Sorry about that, I forgot. Okay, but the next um, one that I am going to introduce to you is this interpretations. It's a circular, circular temple degree means by John Sandbach. He's very, he very generously offered to put this within the program so that he can share his knowledge of astrology by uh, the degree meanings. So we select on that. You can produce this report. This is a written interpretation. We click on OK. And there you go. There is your interpretations. We can enlarge this a little bit. And then you can scroll down. And there you go. Here are the interpretations that he has. OK. Again, all those things that we selected are all listed in this report selected for window here on the right side. Okay, let's click on listing again. And then we're gonna click on uh, 
fixed uh oh let me see we go to what do we have here i right click let's go to the same beyond symbols of angular separation see what we get in here this is a really cool feature and there you go these are the Sabian symbols. All right. Um, okay. Now we go to listing in here. We go back to, we, we finish this part. Let's just go to the fixed stars, listings and interpretations. Okay. You can see there's a lot of choices to choose from in here. We can select one of these, but the one that I want to show you is the interpretations of conjunctions to 349 fixed stars. This is an ex excellent interpretation. This is very detailed. You can also get the uh, this short version of it, but let me show you this one. And let's click on OK. This is really a cool feature. Yeah, it's really, really well written. Yeah. Again, you can print this, save this to file in PDF format. You can send it to your customers. OK. Now, Let's click on listing in here. Okay. Oh, let me right click. I'm sorry, I keep forgetting this. Let's look at the short version. This is only a conjunction to 40 fixed stars. So let's click on OK. There you go. These are the listings. This is not the interpretation. Okay. Now let's go back to listings. And then we go to uh, Jones types. Okay, let's click in here. And then there's three options in here, the, the midpoint weighting analysis by Michael Mancasey. You click in here, this can also be selected from, from the uh, midpoint tree, but it can also be selected from here. Let's select that and then you click on okay. And there we go. You can make this larger so that it's easier to read. As you can see, there you go. You can scroll down to see the whole thing or you can print it to your printer or to your uh, Microsoft print a PDF to create a PDF version of it. Okay, now let's go, let's right click and then uh, let's look at the Gauklin sectors and rise and set times. You click on here, you select the number two and then you click on okay. And there you go. Here is the listing. All right, the rising and setting time. All right, now let's go to the next one. We right click. This is the uh, uh, Jones chart, the Mark Edmonds Jones chart types analysis. You click on the third one, you click on OK, and there you go. For, for Julia Roberts, she has the wide fan. We do not have the image for you, but according to this, uh, her Jones chart type is a wide fan fan and it gives you the interpretation of what it is. It's really, really cool. Now, we finished this listing. So you will select that. So let's just cancel in here. Let's go back to the listing in here. Let's go to the harmonic list grid. You can do the harmonic charts position list or the harmonics aspect grid. Let's select the first one. And then we can uh, select this include listings of aspects, and then click on OK. And there you go. Those are your listings. Then let's go back to, oh, I'm sorry, right click in here, uh, click on listing, and then we click on harmonic charts, and we select the harmonics aspect grid. And this one, this time is the grid. You can um, put the high, harmo highest harmonic that you wanna use or the orbs, and you click on OK. And there you go. There is your harmonic listings. Okay, now we go back in here. Uh, harmonic patterns listing. Let's click on this. This is really cool. And there you go. You have several options in here as well. Um, you can click on the first one. So click on OK. And it's calculating. Now, as you can see, these are the four planet uh, combinations. Uh, the way to read this is you look at the smallest degree within this listing. For example, it's usually the smallest degree within this listing is um, listed in capital letters. In this chart, the four planet conjunctions in harmonic charts on this chart is the uh, 
Habonic 187 and the orb is 8 degrees. 187 is 17 times 11. So, okay, according to this, Sun, Mars, Neptune, Moon conjunctions are 8 degrees apart. And um, and this is very, very strong in this chart. It's the same thing with the planet, the three planet conjunctions. You can see, um, look for the uh, capital letters. They are the smallest orb. Okay. Okay, and this one, the the harmonic number five is the strongest one is four degrees. Okay, by the way, harmonics are now called the vibrational astrology as well because it's using more than three or more planets combinations that is using the vibration of each of those planets. Okay, so let's right click and you have more options in here. You can select, you can create direct mood point structures. Uh, let's click on this one and then we can we can move on to the next one, uh, to the next listing. Just that to show you what this is. Let me click on OK. It's very simple, fast and easy. There you go. There you go. It's a very simple listing. Okay. Now let's go to the next one. Let's go to integrated listings. You have all these kinds of listings that you can choose from. Lifetime solar return lunar return and planet returns and the uh, venus stars points let's let's look at this lifetime solar return and lunar and planet returns and then we have all of these options let's just select one of this so that we can move on let's just click on lifetime solar return and then uh, we just say uh, uh, no to that just just select the default again there's an explanation in there and we click on okay and then there you go. And then click on OK again in here. And it will give us the listing. And now it's calculating. It takes a little while. OK, there you go. It starts from, uh, from when the person was born up to the year uh, 2068. OK. For this person. All right. So um, there's a lot more to choose from from here. But uh, let's just click on OK here. We go so that we can go back to the other. OK. Let's click on listings again. Um, you can click on integrated listing. Let's cl click on one of this here. Uh, this is really cool. This is the Venus star points and lifetime eclipse aspects. And we click on OK. And uh, let's click on the Venus Stars points by uh, Ariel Gutman. She very much generously um, uh, gave us the formula so that we can share it here for you. Okay, so we select the Venus Star points by Ariel Gutman. We click on OK. And here it is. Here is the listings for you. Okay, so let's make this a little smaller so that it's easier to read for you. All right, so this is the uh, Venus star points for Julia Roberts by Ariel Gutman. Okay, so let's go to the listings again. Um, let's go to uh, Music of the Spears. This is the sound of the planets. Let's click on it and see what we get. There you go. Sounds of the planets play and display. Let's click on OK and then click on OK. And then this is the sounds um, for the uh, planet Saturn. That's for Saturn, Mercury, the sun. It's awesome. The moon, Mars. Ooh, Jupiter is very high pitch. Neptune. Wow, it's awesome. Wow. All right, let's click on listings again. Oh, by the way, if, if you look at these listings, it gives you the frequency. For Saturn, the frequency of, is 454. Uh, it's 56% uh, above A. And again, it's listed in here. It will give you um, the uh, 
the frequencies of each of the planets. Is, isn't that cool? Okay. So Saturn is A in the octave, octave 20, and Mercury, A sharp, on uh, octave 16, and so forth. Okay. So let's click on listing. Let's go to parents. And then here, you already also have a lot of options. Let's just select one of this just to see what we can get from here. But you can certainly select each one of these or all of them at the same time. Let's just select the number seven. Sounds interesting. Okay, this is the rotated parent listings for Julia Roberts. You can scroll down to see the rest of them in here. Okay, now let's click on listing and click on planets of asteroid positions. Let's select the uh, planet position list. Oh, planet position list first. Let's see. Okay, now these are the listings of the planet positions in the natal chart. It's really, really cool if you don't want to look at the wheel. Okay, now let's go back to listing and then planet positions as an asteroids. And then we select, um, okay, we select the 1000 asteroid list that is included within the series program. And then we can select an alphabetical order or zodiacal position order. So let's click on OK. And then it will give us the listing. It's going to take a little while because it's the 1000 asteroids that is included within the program. And look at that. It's really, really cool. Just again, you can scroll down to see your listings. Okay, let's go back to our listings and you go to, um, uh, you get the idea of this one. So let's go to the next one, declination and latitude graphic display. All right, there you go. This is really, really beautiful. You can see um, the, uh, the, uh, this is the graphic display for planet declinations and latitude. It's in this cool. Yeah. Really, really cool. The green line is the ecliptic plane. The, uh, the celestial is, is equator. This is the red one. Planets in fuchsia are out of bounds look at that and in this chart she's got mars out of bounds it's really really cool if you want to see the out of bounds in the chart is in this cool all right um we click on done in here and then we click on listings and let's look at the relocated ascendant and midheaven aspect listing in this category and there you go. We can select the uh, relocation basic plus minor aspects, for example. And then uh, we can uh, click on OK. And there it is. Really, really cool. OK, this ends our demonstrations of the listings features within the series program. Feel free within your program to play with it. Uh, because we I, we cannot show each one of them on this um on this tutorial there's too many our tutorial will be very very long so uh we will stop here and you can play with it at your own time on your serious program thank you very much